Hello YouTube world, welcome back to Therapeutic Tuesday. I am Mike Nimchek coming to you from Western North Carolina in the mountains today. And I am going to demonstrate and show you um, a really, really good stretch, a warm up or a cool down or both for your hips in particular, your uh, hamstrings and or the back of the legs, the upper part of your leg in the back, and then also your quads and hip flexors, or the front upper part of your leg. Kind of keeping the hips open, because if the hips are loose and you can keep your ankles loose, then you can put more range of motion or flexibility in those areas instead of dumping it into your knee, causing a lot of pain and issue in that knee later on in life, or you may already be experiencing that. Anyways, let's get right into it. So the first thing that, um, you can do, if you don't want to drill a hole and kind of put one of those eye hooks into your wall, you can get like one of those suspension trainers, and I'm sure that they sell these separately, but um, I just bought you know a suspension trainer and it had one of these little caddy things that you can slide into your door when it's open and then close the door and then it pinches it, so you have a nice little anchor. And then from there, I bought one of these big old carabiners from a, a home improvement store and then I put my band on it, right? Got one of these bands. So the first one will be stretching the front of the leg, the hip flexors and the quads. So you just step in here and you want it nice and high. You can see how I have it here. It's like right up where the leg and the hips meet in that joint area. So when you're in this position, you want a fair amount of tension in this band and you wanna keep your, your core pulled in, right? Stuff like I always talk about, belly button pulled in, keeping that lower back protected, that way it doesn't, you're not dumping your energy into your low back, you're keeping all the tension in the front of the hip and the quad here, getting a nice good stretch. And then I will do my timer for two minutes, right? The magic number for these stretches with the band are two minutes. And if you can see, the way that I have my feet set up, I have my my knee down here. I like to keep the top of my foot flat on the one that's being stretched. And then you can see here that this is kind of like my kickstand. It's kind of I'm keeping myself pushed back with this leg. If I took this leg away, I would I would fall forward. And again, making sure that belly button's pulled in, but also that your chest stays up and, and nice and tall. And once you're in this nice position, you can start to kind of lunge forward. So we'll see how this looks when you have that chest up, belly button still pulled in. And to increase the stretch, now you can just kind of lunge forward. You can see how there's a, a distance now between the front of my hip and my knee that's on the ground, right? Again, still keeping that belly button pulled in. Now you're getting a big stretch in this knee. In over two minutes, if you're on hard deck or a floor like I am, it helps to grab something to kind of give some cushion and support for that knee. So I got that. And then you can take it one step further. You can bend your leg and go into what's called a super stretch. Or this is a couch stretch, or this would be the super couch stretch, how you have a band stretching this for you or distracting you during the stretch. Then you also have the leg pulled up, which is even more of a stretch for this quadricep and hip flexor complex in the front of your leg, keeping these loose so that you can stride wider, right? Instead of being so like shuffle stepping, like we see really, really old people shuffle stepping, because they have really tight hips. They're probably not very strong anymore. But if you stay supple, then you can continue to stay strong because you won't get hurt. You won't have to spend time out of uh, your strength training. All right, so you get the idea with the hip flexor and quad stretch with the band. Next thing is going to be turning around. And I always like to do the hip flexor, the front first, and then the back. The way that I was taught, it just makes more sense because you're stretching 
uh, the muscles that surround this big ball and socket joint, right? So you got your hip socket here, and this is the end of your femur or the big leg bone that connects right in that hip. And you want to keep it in a nice axis of rotation. What you're doing during your stretch is you're pulling it forward, like if your front of your body is this way, back of the body and butt is this way. You're pulling it forward in this first stretch a little bit. I don't think it's that drastic. And then we will do the hamstring one, which is going to pull it back into a nice, comfortable axis of rotation. So it's just better doing it in that order. Is it that big of a deal? Occasionally, no. I just wouldn't make it habit of doing the back the hamstrings first and then the front. So I'm just showing you uh, the way that I usually always do it. Not usually, always. <laughs> All right, won't need the pillow for this one. You can see again, I'm uh, carefully making sure that this band is as high up on my hip as I can, getting really close into that hip joint, right? So I'll walk forward. And so you see where the band is around the hip. That doesn't really change. I'm trying to keep my hips up towards the ceiling. Like in yoga, you have the down dog. As you breathe in, your hips come up high. And you're trying to push your chest down low. It's similar with this stretch. This stretch is doing a lot of similar things that a downward dog yoga stretch would do. The only difference is you're getting a more intense stretch due to this kind of banded pressure that you have pulling you back, which really helps um, intensify the stretch. So you're getting more out of your two minutes that you're setting a timer for than if you were just doing a, uh, a stretch without the band. All right, so you come into this and you bend your knee as much as you need to, and you can bring your fingers down. I like making sure they're like, you know, a foot in front of my, my big toe. And that way you have space to kind of push your chest down towards the ground. So if you see, I have a back, I have a kickstand leg again that's behind me that has no band on it. And the one that is banded right here, the knee is bent and the foot is in front. Again, my fingers are about a um, about 12 inches, about a foot in front of my big toe of the leg that's being stretched and I'm pushing my back down. So I'm pulling my shoulder blades together and down, right? That allows my chest to push forward or the center of my chest to push down towards the ground. Breathing deeply into my nose, big deep breath and releasing and relaxing on the exhale. So you can take it a step further if you want in, in this stretch. And as you breathe in through your nose, imagine like you're breathing space and filling up a balloon behind these tight muscles. Hold that breath for a second. As you breathe out, you're relaxing and trying to go deeper into the stretch. Again, breathing in. You can even flex when you hold it. So I'm squeezing my leg muscles, flexing the quads, the butt muscle. Not exactly this one because you're, you're stretching it. Flex, and then ah, as you breathe out, release and get deeper into that stretch. So there you have it. Two amazing stretches that I really would recommend that you do, you know, every day really. Do that for two minutes each side and at each angle. So you do two minutes facing the anchor point of your band like we showed first, like I showed first and then do the other side for two minutes and then turn around. So you're facing away from the anchor point, you know, that hamstring stretch that I just finished doing. Hold that for two minutes, breathing deeply, flexing and relaxing, whatever you feel like doing, and then switch sides, do the other side for two minutes. Jump out of that and see how you feel. I know that doing the example here on, that, on my one side, I already feel a little loose and I wasn't even doing it for two minutes. So until next time, keep going and keep growing mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually stronger. Peace.